Witch Trials Weekly, video 43, November the 18th to December the 1st, 1692. The still ailing Mercy Short and the re-establishment of the judicial system. Someone yelled fire in Boston during a sermon on Sunday, November 19th. This unsettled Mercy Short who was ailing and still trying to get over her afflictions. When she returned home, Mercy fell unconscious. When she awoke several hours later, her seizures had returned. Whether she was awake or asleep, Mercy Short was plagued by a group of specters. The devil visited her with a book and said she only need touch it to feel better. She envisioned herself burning at the stake, which she had seen done to fellow captors when she was being held hostage by Native Americans. Samuel Sewell prayed for forgiveness and guidance. He prayed that the assembly would choose wisely and assist the new judges. He asked God to save New England as to enemies and witchcraft and vindicate the late judges. He now doubted the court's past actions and only had the cold comfort that he had tried to do the right thing. At some point this week, Benjamin Proctor was released from Boston prison on a bond. Cotton Mather continued to visit Mercy Short. Some people saw his interest in her spectral afflictions as troubling. He, on the other hand, saw it as an opportunity to study manifestations of the invisible world firsthand. He and several neighbors would pray for her. She was unaware of their presence, however, and was plagued by a swarm of specters. At one point, she ran a Cotton Mather and ripped his Bible. She then fasted for nine days and was free of seizures. This video was produced with special permission from the author, Marilyn K. Roach, and publisher, Cooper Square Press. The Salem Witch Trials, a day-by-day -day chronicle of a community under siege, covers the years 1692 to 1697 in detail. It also touches briefly on important and relevant events before and after this time. We are proud to carry all of Ms. Roach's books and publications in our museum store. To get a copy for your personal research and enjoyment, please visit www.salemwitchmuseum.com.